Hey, hey, we have returned with some more game bound playing some legacy life among the ruins. So I think we're going to zoom in on cinnamon. So <clears throat> let's do the thing. Zooming in. When you focus on critical scenes where a handful of people might change the course of history over hours and days, say where you are on the map. I think we're going to be at the evidence of alien contact, of ancient alien contact. Um, main characters present say what they're there to do. Cinnamon, you are there to make allies with the vultures, yes? Um, yep. Very good. Against these dirty humans. Mm-hmm. Very good. Um, the GM describes details of the environment or asks the players questions about it. Um, what do we think? I was thinking like a big kind of half buried spaceship that maybe is now like a weird roost for these vultures. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I think that works. I mean, but how big are these vultures again? They're pretty big, aren't they? They're pretty big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's probably multiple spaceships. Uh, well, I mean, the, just space one the large... spaceship could be big, right? Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, 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 that's fair. Yeah, imagine like one big spaceship like sticking halfway out of the ground and like there's like a bunch of like inside parts of it that are like exposed to the air that like maybe have become roosts for these people. And then I, I, they probably have like um, <clears throat> an area outside the uh, the, the ship that is uh, cordoned off for their li their livestock, their cattle that they like herd, um, mm -hmm. whatever remains of their, their herd there. Um, so yeah, cinnamon like He's getting closer. She sees this like just dark cloud of vultures circling above their like livestock and above this like ship. Uh, other players may create or pick up quick characters to fill out the party. Um, Y'all are welcome to do so. Let me, let me double check. I think uh, Jordan did have a fox character. Um, too long of a name is his character's name. Uh, you were a leader among the, you're one of the elders of the clan of the ancient mysteries. Uh, he could be, he could be coming with you to, to give some authority. Um, and I don't think Seth had a character with the foxes. Would you like to make one? Who's Everill? Seth could also be a vulture. That's what I was thinking too. I could be a vulture. That's, Who is, uh, that's fair. Yeah. Who is Everill? Everill is um, one of the Guild of Last Day Prophetes, I believe. Okay. I had, yes. I had a quick character with the, as them, and I wasn't sure what they were. Yeah, yeah I, could play a, I could play a Vulture. We don't necessarily have to make a quick character. for. Uh, we, we have to make a quick character for them? There's no... Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, we want to give them, like, a role move, at least. Um, <laughs> I mean, they're, they're pretty quick to make here. And we don't, we don't have, like, a family thing for the Vultures. Yeah. Um, but that's uh, what I was wondering. I wasn't sure, wasn't sure if that. Yeah, matters. well, so I, I think I think I would prefer if you're gonna make a quick character that you'd make uh one of the foxes, um, <clears throat> and then I would play the vultures. Play the vultures. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Especially because they don't have yeah. a faction properly. Uh, so if you'd like to play, Honestly, make a quick character. Um, we can do that. Wouldn't be the first time I played a bird. Um, true. Uh, copy of quick character number four. Should I just do that one? Yeah. Yeah. Um. So yeah, the big thing here would be uh, split plus one, zero, zero, and minus one between your stats and add your family bonus to one. So we just, uh, the family bonus for clan is and They're all um, fox people? Yeah, plus one to steal or sway. Um, what are you guys at already? Alyssa and Jordan? Yeah, what do they focus on? Cinnamon is good at steel, I know. Well, Jordan, what's and your quick character? Too long is good at sway and not much else. Yeah. yeah, I think I specifically made him good at one thing and not good at everything else. I'll yep. be steel as well, then. We're going to double up on something. And minus one yeah, on be another, sway. Be another scout. <clears throat> zero on lower, zero on force. Sure. Um, what, or would uh, I... Would, do none of us have force if we do that then? No one has actually. force. Yeah, that, that's actually the one we're missing. You so actually, be let's like a do one thing. on force and one on steel then. <gasps> oh. Hi. Someone join. 
Another child joining Finn the stream. Finn is having some sad boy hours. So. You're having some sad boy hours. Did you just want to hang out with daddy? I don't think he can hear you, but... <laughs> it's okay. I don't, I don't think... mind just talking to myself. <laughs> you say with that, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. I think I have the character done. I wasn't sure Wait. on uh, gear. You said take from family assets, and I couldn't remember. I didn't... Yeah, so it's based on... The Clan of the Ancient Mysteries. Mm-hmm. Um, they have as their assets. How do you fight? Hit and run mm-hmm. tactics. Melee and elegant. How do you defend? Natural hide, camo and tough. And what useful expertise can you draw on? Scavengers. Quality one. Finding food and shiny. Do I pick just one of these things then? Uh, no, you can. Uh, your character can always have some accessory that marks them as more than an animal. And in addition, you pick three. And this is all, things your character always has access to. So I would just be the three things, the hit and run tactics, natural hide and scavengers. Yeah, I mean, most of it is like stuff that you just naturally have, right? Like mm-hmm. your hide and your hit and run tactics. Um, but yeah, you, you could also bring scavengers with you. OK, I'll have those with me. Um. Okay, so where were we? We're, we're going to zoom in here. Um, we, we'll probably not work. Uh, one thing you can actually take too, Seth, if you want to look at the, in the Clan of the Ancient Mysteries, the inheritance moves, you can pick one of those. I think I did. Did you? Yeah, I picked the atavistic nature. Perfect. No, we're a fox, so we don't work. Um, okay. Uh, actually, I think this might be a separate thing huh? that you're looking at. Let me. Uh... I picked it. Was it? A, I just, they were all kind of there. It was the custom family move? Was that not it? Nope. Um, oh. No, no, no. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's a. That's a. Oh, those are oh. The inheritance. Moves. I see it now. The inheritance are all the bottom. Yep, yep. So okay. it's those. It's one of those ones. Yep. Choose the loose uplift. Okay, now I'm ready. Unless it doesn't want to paste. It doesn't want to paste. There we go. Cool. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I think we zoom in on that. Um, we uh, see the, uh, the big ship, as I described before. And... Um, <laughs> You three, uh, plus whoever is bringing scavengers with, right, um, is uh, y- y'all can go to the ship, and it, you're. I think you're being led by whatever this vulture is. Um, so you you helped him like heal and stuff. Is he like flying above you? Is he w- waddling along with you with like a broken, like a half broken wing and a splint? Like, what what do you think? Kind of up to you, Cinnamon, or you as Alyssa as the character. Um, or you, you, Alyssa, as the player is what I'm asking. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think it makes sense that his wing would be broken. Uh, maybe he's like, yeah. he's probably too big to like ride, like, ride on, on one of yeah. us. Yeah, mm-hmm. so he's probably waddling next to us. So we're going pretty slow. Yeah, yeah I like the idea that he's like, ah, this way, this way, <laughs> waddling <laughs> along, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, let's say uh, his name is uh, what's a good name for like a vulture? Vulture name generator. Let's see if that comes up with anything. <laughs> pet bird of pet bird of prey names. That's a that's a great idea. Um. Ooh yeah. Oh yeah. This guy's name is Havoc. Havoc. I love that. Okay, so um, vulture leading you named Havoc with a C in the case switched around, but you know. Um, and he's waddling along and yeah, like it's kind of an intimidating sight. Like these are obviously, um, nature spirits of one sort or the other, but I'd like to think in the, in the pantheon of nature spirits, you, uh, your, your people are kind of like the, the secretive mysterious forest spirits and, you know, maybe the gods of mystery and secrets and, um, uh, trickery maybe even, um, the vultures. 
they're like the gods of death in your pantheon, right? <laughs> um, they're they're necessary, right? They're part of the natural cycle of life. That that you know they need we right. need scavengers to pick off the bones of the dead. But you know it's not something that you really want to be friends with. Um, they are distasteful, and and like a lot of this is like you you've forgotten a lot of your heritage, a lot of your a lot of the secrets of the past and and the 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 animals that used to your tribes used to like deal with long ago have been lost to the chaos of the before. Um, but you probably still have some stories, um, dark stories in your mythology about the, these, these, these animals, right? These spirits, the spirits of death, the ones that can that come to, you know, like uh, maybe in, in your mythology, like the, maybe like the bodies of the dead are meant to be left where they lie. Like you you don't, maybe your time, ty- I don't think your kind buries your bodies or lights them on fire. Um, because of the, your connection to nature, you're like, nope, they just need to stay where they are. Um, and then nature will take care of them. Right. And these vultures are part of that. That's like the, the, the spirits of death will descend and take away the bodies of the dead. Right. Um, so that's, that's all the stuff that's going through your mind as you like walk up to this giant, ancient crumbling ship filled with vultures. Um, yeah. What do we, what do we see from Sinan and, and the others as you are walking, waddling along, uh, or following a waddling havoc. I think she's just thinking, like, well, at least I'm not dead. Hopefully they won't pick on me too much. <laughs> um, Literally or emotionally. Yeah, we'll see. And I think Cinnamon is kind of, like, feeling like this might be, like, kind of the last hope. Because, I mean, the last information check I made about, like, other spirit animals was that basically these are the only ones. That are left. Yeah. And the so only ones that you found are these ones. Yeah. I think we established that these are the only ones left. I mean, you and don't I, know that for I sure. Think... It's a big planet, but these are definitely At least the only in this ones. Area. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I think she's like thinking, okay, the mole people didn't work out. They are atrocious atrocities that the spirits have told us to stay away from. If these are our only, if these are truly the only spirits that are left, then we need to make allies with them yeah that makes sense so cool yeah so hesitant hesitantly walk up what is what is uh oh, oh yeah i was gonna ask about um too long um so jordan um has your uh role in your family evolved at all um <clears throat> i think usually when we come back to quick characters we like give them another role um kind of evolve them um, you were a leader last time. You you had the move where you could like train a group for a few days and whatnot. Um, are you have you evolved at all from that? Are you an agent or you're a rebel, an outsider, prophet, traitor? Thing I could see prophet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, prophet role is kind of like you you see the future for your family. I, I kind of like that. Yeah, that, that sounds like a good idea. Maybe you're you're like the elder who like was the deciding vote for like we must seek out the nature spirits instead of the humans. Um, what, what was it about that, that convinced too long that like, what we need to do is go to the forest spirits, even the spirits of death it, it, rather than the humans or the ones below or, you know. Okay. Hear me out. I think too long had a vision of some sort of, um, of cinnamon leading the um the clan that I can't remember the name of. The clan of ancient mysteries. Of the ancient mysteries. Yeah. So I I think Too Long had a vision of Cinnamon leading and like kind of being more and more so in charge and uh, leading to flourishing. And so in that I think too long has like resided to trust in cinnamon's instincts and cinnamon's instinct seems to be to go with the ancient spirits versus the humans yeah i'd like to think that like the lake spirits that like you guys transported along with the fresh water to your forest 
had something to do with it too. Like whatever their their advice was, because they they like said like we get you know, we've given up on the ones below. Like they are not they're not redeemable. They're too corrupted by the aliens. Um, maybe like you you your your the elders and including you like talk to them too, and they were like, yeah, like it, humans just aren't worth it. You know, in general. <laughs> Cool. So do we see you like um, maybe like with a heavy heart walking along side uh, cinnamon or are you like determined? Uh, I think heavy heart. Yeah, because he, he seemed like like a kindly old fox, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, there's there's like there's a heavy heart and there's also like. Wanting. You know. Seeing seeing the leader that Cinnamon could become. Mm, yeah. And like wanting that for her and wanting that to come out of her more and more. And yeah, that she'll you sense that to... your time on this earth is passing away and you want to. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. And like Cinnamon knowing that even if she makes mistakes here with who she's abandoning and who she's trusting that. um that'll be okay and that she can navigate through that and keep leading the peoples sure, that's kind of sure. where that's kind of where he's at i think and then uh what about uh whatever your new character's name is it, what's your character's name so with leo with okay Let me... <gasps> oh i did not give them a look i guess oh uh yeah, I mean, you can just describe however you think the fox Let's spirit. go with masculine, mm-hmm. angular, uh, calculating eyes, mm-hmm. uh, muscular body, I guess. Um, yeah, I'd like to think that you're like the muscle on this expedition. Yeah, yeah, that, which is kind of funny to say with only a plus one, of course. Um better than anyone uh, else yeah yeah uh, uh what's what's your narrow field of expertise from the agent role oh sorry i forgot about that um probably hunting yeah that makes sense hunter yeah it makes sense for one force and one steel yep sweet they don't uh, usually have to need muscle but when it is it's hmm. usually hunting Oh, I like your inheritance move. Loose uplift. You can shut off your sapience to become a creature of instincts, getting advantage on force and plus two armor, but losing the ability to talk, reason, or use tools. Oh, yeah. I <laughs> like go it. savage. I went for it. Like a barbarian yeah. almost. Like a were fox sort of th- stuff. Yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah. So um, are you just like wary about everything? Probably. Um, he's used to just hunting. And so now, like, oh, wait, I need to be here to actually potentially attack, like, something that's sentient. Probably a little uneasy right. about that. Cool. Um, yep. So um, I think you guys are, are just continuing to follow Havoc. And we see you uh, enter the under the shadow of the cloud of vultures that are, like, kind of circling. It almost seems anxiously, right, um, above you. And uh, Havoc is saying, ah, this way, this way. Yes, yes, the, uh, the... The queen will want to see you. I imagine that oh, is we're bold. going straight to the queen. Oh my gosh. Okay. I imagine that you saying that like Smeagol and Lord Thorns. This row. This row. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> no funny. Finn <laughs> <laughs> is so like disturbed. He's like, <laughs> Daddy, what are you doing? Uh yeah, yeah. So he he uh he's waddling forward. And uh, a lot of the vultures are landing on I, I'm imagining the vibes we're getting are a lot like um the end of Lion King where like the hyenas are taking over the Pride Land. Uh it's like there's like just like these scavengers like landing on the rocks next to you as you climb up towards Pride Rock, <laughs> right? Uh it's kinda kind of the vibe we're getting. They're all staring at you and you feel very vulnerable. And it's like, you know, vultures usually as um normal animals are like um scavengers right you know right. but these are much bigger than normal vultures um and even even normal vultures do hunt occasionally so um they they definitely are giving you hungry looks um it looks like they're down on their luck their their herds are definitely diminished it seems like 
Um, yeah. So yeah, uh, we, you kind of make your way through the through the crowd. Um, let me let me take a look at your. I know you have like a move here, Cinnamon. <laughs> yeah, it's about um like finding common ground. Kind of a thing. Uh, yep. Words unspoken. When you find a new people deep in the wasteland. Oh, I guess this isn't deep in the wasteland. Uh, it, it, I think it counts it well enough. Uh, you can roll plus lore on familiar face and find common ground, even if this is your first time here and in spite of any language barrier. Uh, I wonder. Yeah, so I, I, don't, th I don't think you're going to do familiar face there. Uh, we already have, have Havoc as your, like, contact. Um, but uh, find common ground, I think, is going to be the thing you'll roll here in a, in a minute to like make a deal right mm -hmm. um yeah so you get led deep up into the recesses of the um the ship and you eventually are led into a dark metal metallic rusted chamber um you know maybe maybe two rooms into the ship uh it's not not like super deep into it but like mm -hmm. um Enough that like the the light of the the world beyond is starting to dim, and uh, <clears throat> there is a gigantic vulture um, that is kind of curled over a, a nest of bones, um, and uh, you know you can't tell genders apart for vultures, but you know it, you you assume this is probably the queen of which havoc has spoken, and he 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 kind of shuffles forward, and uh, there are two big bulk bulky vultures kind of like guarding her, uh, kind of like blocking the way and have it kind of like does like this weird kind of like genuflection and and like groveling before the two of them and they speak in their gibbering bird tongue uh which you don't quite understand you can probably seek to understand it but um you know you, you don't pick up the words right away and uh eventually um he says uh <laughs> you like havoc turns back you may speak uh, cinnamon but you must do so quickly for she is very distressed right now <laughs> ben think that's hilarious. That's so funny. He likes when I do voices. Yeah. Um, okay, so I I'm the one talking, even though I don't have sway. Um, well, I guess it's because I, I have the the like finding you, common ground. Thing, Havoc yeah. is like your friend. Uh, I mean, you could also put to have too long come forward, like, and he could help you too, like you know. Yeah. Well, it's I'm the one finding common ground, right? So that's, that's yeah, that's what, what I think is, with, is with, happening here. with yeah. lore. Okay, so, um, yeah, so I mean, I think she just quickly just says, uh, "Oh, Queen of the Vultures, um, we come back to bring back one of your, um, one of your people who was injured in a battle recently, and we are hoping that maybe we can." create an alliance of some sort or find some common ground with each other. Our, our clan, our, our, our clans have been at odds for too long. And I think that we have more in common than we probably realize in these dark times. Um, she's silent for a while and she, she's literally like kind of curled up almost as like a protective mother over bones. Like it was very obviously just like animal bones, right. um, or human bones. You're not, you can't really tell. Um, maybe assortment of both. Um, and she doesn't look up from that or like move, but she speaks kind of softly in your own language, right? Like it communicates with you in a way that you can understand the, the telepathy thing, right? Mind to mind. <clears throat> and, uh, she says very softly. Haven't seen eye to eye. <laughs> Almost like a question. Right. I think she just says like um well despite the fact that we are both spirits, it seems that we have uh different have had different agendas for the last several years. But it seems that now that you have settled here, we seem to have something in common. You mean we have something you want? Well, and we have something you want. It seems that you may have forgotten something that we have remembered for too long. You do Enlighten not recall. Me. Yeah, you do not recall the last time our clans 
interacted, do you, Fox? Can't say. There's a reason we lived in the wasteland. And it was because you shunned us. Abandoned us to the behemoths, to the things that devour our world. We do not forget these. We do not forget things such as this. And we certainly do not forgive. And like, you don't. You don't really have stories of this that you can remember. Right. Like you could, you could roll to like remember or something like that. But like this does not sound. It, it, it's if it happened, your people have forgotten it. Right. Um. There's a lot of chaos in the uh, time before. Yeah, I feel like. Um, uh, I feel like Cinnamon believes this. To be honest, because like, yeah, we that have right. been a very yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, we we're pretty we're pretty shut in people. Like we don't yeah. really like interact with very many uh people anymore. Um, and we never really did to begin with. Um, for sure. So doesn't really surprise me if that's the case. Um. I'm trying to think how she would counteract that, though. Like, mm. I I feel like she would maybe just say something along the lines of like, um. Many years of forgetting our own histories has made us grow. You may not forget or forgive, but we are willing to learn. We are new. We are different. The same clan that you won't forgive is not who we are anymore. They are two separate things. Hmm. <sighs> Even if I believe such a thing, it is unfortunate that there will not be time to make such a deal, to learn or grow at all. Again, she's still like crouched over these bones. Yeah. And she starts whispering to herself, They are coming. And when they do, they, there will be nothing left but bones. And even we cannot survive on only bones. Who's coming, if I may ask? She finally looks up at that point, And she says, <laughs> They ate our herds. They devoured our land. And now there is nowhere left for us to run. We have brought them to your doorstep. And at least we will take some pleasure in our enemies being destroyed at the same time we suffer. Should have gone with the humans. Gosh dang it. <laughs> <laughs> and again, you can still you can still make your roll. I'm not, right, you know, right, this right, is right. just her yeah. like nihilism. Right. Pushing showing. back. Yeah, 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 yep. yeah, 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 for sure. Um uh... I like to think that that's definitely what uh, you, uh, Cinnamon thinks, though. <laughs> Just, <dang laughs> right, <it>. for sure. <laughs> I think, what, I think, yeah. <laughs> how are too long in uh, Leia with uh, viewing this and, and reacting? Yeah, I'm curious. Are they pushing in? Are they saying anything here? I mean, we're following you. I don't like being here. <laughs> too long is like, as, like, as Cinnamon is... Like the thought bubble dialogue of like I should have gone with the humans is playing too long as just like snickering to himself a little bit like mm -hmm. um but no I think I think um I think too long is um I 
Too Long is like intently listening. He doesn't seem super phased by anything. Um, he seems pretty calm and collected, but just yeah. And and the way the roles go too, like um, Too Long probably doesn't even need to say anything until Alyssa fails. In right. which case he could then do the like a move to like yeah. help, right? Um, this seems a little dark for Cinnamon, but I think she's just yeah. trying to like play up the vulture a little bit. Mm. Um, because not like she wants like the whole world destroyed. Like that's certainly not what Cinnamon wants. But mm-hmm. um, I think uh, what did she say that the the things were called? I couldn't hear in your like whisperer voice. Sorry. Um. I don't know if she named them. She she just called she called them like a certain like um she, she said the something is coming. I don't remember what I said. I don't think it was very descriptive if I recall. I'm I don't just think like, he said who it was. They oh, okay. um mostly mostly describe what they did, right? Um they uh dev- like they ate most of our herds, they devoured our land. I'm and assuming it, 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 it can cinnamon assuming she's talking about the mole warps. Yeah, that's probably what she's talking about. The mole okay. warps. Yeah. So um I think that cinnamon's probably like the humans here have been fighting them off for generations. They're not gonna go down easy. But if what you say is true, that they're coming to our doorstep, maybe we can work together to ensure that we're not the ones destroyed at the end of their battle. Mm. okay yeah that's definitely gonna appeal to their sense of pick off the bones when the, of the leftovers right like wait until they the other people die <laughs> um right okay yeah and then maybe you know you know the idea would be like we ally, ally together um defend our lands and then maybe swoop in to do what we need to do to defend you know to help the give the humans the nudge they need just to like right. defeat them and then we can just kill them afterwards <laughs> right yeah, kind of a thing, right? I yeah, mean, because yeah, yeah. Cinnamon doesn't necessarily want to kill off all the humans, but the yeah. idea that she's proposing use is the like, humans as use the human fodder. shields, yeah. right? And let's work together to like hole up together and shield and do what we got to do to protect ourselves. Love it. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, we've got the water and food that you need. Yeah. You've got the the more the, you know. Um, uh, numbers force. Numbers force, right? That kind of a thing. Yeah. Honestly, so. if they if you like you have fresh water and the crops, if right. they brought their livestock to where you guys are, right? Maybe they can right. maybe you can yeah, make a little homestead, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So. All right, sounds good. Um go ahead and roll uh find common ground with lore. Okay, can I add a data to it? Yes, of course. Yeah, and you get advantage that way. Okay, so a uh, so standard advantage mm-hmm. is a, a roll type advantage. Okay. Yeah, yeah modifiers none uh yeah you didn't yep yep so there you go eight um so in which case uh, uh the players pick two conditions so they'll do it if you meet their terms okay uh, their terms are hmm. let's see i'm gonna read these off and you you guys tell me if anything's if anything jumps out to you as an idea a third party be- vouches for you i'm not sure there's a third party that would make sense in this instance. <laughs> Not really, given the third parties are the Because the third party would have to be like a really? faction, and all the other factions are against you guys. That's the whole mm-hmm. point of this thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unless it's somebody in like the outer lands, it may be a different, maybe if they know of another spirit, but I don't. But honestly, don't it seems it like all the other spirits hate us too, because apparently we uh-huh. shunned them all out to protect ourselves. So, yeah. Yep. Uh, we're just so well, unlikable. And they're all dead. So, who's the real loser? <laughs> Uh, the next one is they can change specific parts of the task. So the task that you, that's like the thing that you want them to work with you on is like uh, entrench ourselves together, like help each, right. be, have, give each other mutual aid to like hold ourselves up here to defend against the uh, oncoming onslaught of the mold warps uh, and then use the humans as a meat shield. Right. So that, that's the task that you've, I'm trying to think of what they would want to change about that, if anything. Um, change specific parts of the task. What are the other options? Because maybe yeah, there's yeah, else we'll keep there. going. Um, they can back out as soon as it costs them. That's the that easy one. Yeah. yeah. Um, that probably makes sense for vultures. Let's say let's say that that's one of them. 
Um, they get they get mm-hmm. two conditions. You reduce the threat you pose to them. You don't pose that much of a threat to them. You give them something now that's worth it. Oh, oh, a third party vouches for you. The 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 animal spirits of the lake that you've transported. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah because there's the whole thing. If they're worried about like you've abandoned us, then then maybe you can basically say, sorry, Finn. Then maybe you the can basically have, say the spirits have told us to come to you and to you know aid you and like. We're not, we're, we're, we as spirit animals need to stick together is what we are going. Yeah. I think the idea would be like, listen, we got some spirits like in their, you know, they don't have forms anymore, but like they're still around and we saved them. Like we, we protected them from these terrible monstrosities in the caves and we brought them to our place. We're, we're gathering them up again. We're, we're righting wrongs. Yeah. Right. Sure. That makes sense to me. Um, yeah, so so basically you you can tell that they're like flighty creatures, right? And they will back right. out if if it turns too dire for them. Mm-hmm. Um but as long as things don't go terribly wrong, this should work. Um okay. as long as something doesn't happen drastic enough to to make them want to flee or you know like cut their losses. Uh cool. So yeah, I think um they they basically say like uh yeah, yeah, okay. We'll 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 send some uh, of our, like the queen wants to come talk to the or maybe his let's say uh, his, the queen consort so this like this uh old bald vulture and that scuttles over and uh, seems interested he seems like a scholar of some sort and and wants to go talk to the forest spirits of the lake and then you can work out a deal to like figure out like okay here here's where we're gonna be um you know what what do we need to exchange uh do you guys want to come over here um, it, it, are you got if they were basically like, yeah, we'll all go to your forest. Is that something you're willing to do? Too long. What do you think? Yes, yeah, so maybe maybe we like cut uh, like maybe an hour afterwards, and you guys are like, um, sitting outside of the the ship as the vultures are talking amongst themselves, and, and you're like talking about like, okay, what what's what's our actual? How far are we willing to go here? Because I worry that the vultures are going to destroy our ecosystem. <laughs> um, yeah. Like, seriously. There's a, there's a lot of them. Because uh, there's a lot. Um, yeah. So the vultures are wanting to come to our forest? Yeah, basically. Not uh, necessarily, but it's an idea. Y- yeah, but like the big thing, like their thing is like, um, I guess this is the homeland. It's, you know, they're in the homeland right now. So there is like, um ranchable land here which is why they came here in the first place but is also uh how how much are you guys going to be able to i guess this is the idea this is the question how are you going to give each other mutual aid how are you entrenching yourselves together in an alliance are you just exchanging some people back and forth just keeping in contact ready to help each other in a time of need Mm -hmm. going to the same place and making a base like what how extensive is this yeah, that's a good question. Because um, I, I think what Cinnamon was picturing specifically was that we still have our own separate areas, right? Like, we're not all going to converge on the forest, right? The forest is still sacred. Um, <laughs> but um, I think in Cinnamon's ideal r- world, like, uh, what this looks like is, right, that they still have their, like, wasteland area, um we have the forest but they have but we have access to each other like it's not like the vultures are like a band from our forest or anything like that but they just don't live here um and that they have access to our crops and our water and we have their aid when it comes to like a potential fight or something along those lines no 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 you can come visit anytime you'd like but i don't want you here after 10 p.m well, it's just that there's still a lot. Like, I mean, how many would you say there are, Caleb? Like a hundred, like fifty. Yeah the the game of legacy tends to go low numbers for the families here, so I would say like a hundred makes sense. Okay, right. So I mean, a hundred is still quite a bit. I mean, it's. I mean, this is a pretty big forest area, though. But yeah, they're right on the edge, though. So it's not like you know, if they were further, it probably makes sense that like. I, I think Cinnamon's idea is like, let's just try to treat this as like an extension of our territory over here. And, you know. And if like, if they really got into trouble, you could have them come right. to you. Of, yeah, of course. Yeah. 
And I think that's the idea. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I mean, yeah, the Tapavroi, in theory, will try to deal with any mold warp incursion on the bo- the very border of the, the land anyway. So mm-hmm. as long yeah. as that doesn't fail, then uh, then the vulture should be fine anyway. So uh, cool. cool. Yeah. That's I, kind of the idea anyway. Yep. Yep. So. <laughs> I like it. Um, I think we got a good setup for like the final battle of this age, and then we do like an age skip, right? So I, I think the last shot we we get here is basically like uh the the mold warp advance, right? Like they've just decided like to make a big push for whatever reason. Um, they they had been mainly keeping the vultures. Uh, the, you know the vultures had had been able to keep them at bay but like a bunch of mold warps just showed up all at once and just destroyed wherever the vultures were there in the in the wasteland and then immediately started like gathering up for a big invasion and so we like we we cut on like the shot of the mold warps all like uh, descending on the the homeland um in a big big battle and like the talpavara getting getting uh note of like oh they're coming <laughs> right and then Everyone's would, getting in their drill cars. Let's get them, boys! Right, like the ones below that you've recruited are are like mm-hmm. nervously like, okay, we're gonna do this, right? Like, and everyone's and and basically, I think we we would do the next uh, session of like that battle against the mold warps and Whatever the that fallout is. from that. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, and then and then after that would be the age skip, right? We would see how how does that turn out? Um, can you d- defend against the mold warp invasion? And then we would do uh, a time skip in Legacy and do some progression of the factions. Maybe even years would pass, and then we would pick up with the characters, with new characters and new families, or you know, new family situations, um, and and see how the apocalypse continues. Mm-hmm. Cool. I, I think it's a good, you know, short short uh, scene, but I think uh, important to just get the the vulture situation figured out uh, there. Um, cool. I like it. Uh, and then we would zoom out and do uh, one quick uh, thing for the other main characters. So uh, Jordan and Seth, um, uh, your main characters weren't involved in that scene. And so uh, you get to choose one of these. Uh, you can f- find, They found a new place, place in their family. They went scavenging in the wasteland. They scouted for information. They helped out another family or faction or they discovered a new danger. What about the scene where our characters were in? Um, so it's, it's, uh, each player whose main character wasn't involved picks one. So, okay. Okay. Right. Your main characters were involved in the scene. Um, so the idea is every time a scene happens, any main character who wasn't in that scene gets to do something off screen. Did cinnamon get to do that on the previous one? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. That's 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 what led her to this. Okay. I apparently was not. Yeah. She got a lead on the vulture situation. I'm very tired. Apparently. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay, so what was what was what do I get? Yep. Uh, uh you, each of you get to choose one of this for your main characters. Um, they found a new place in their family. They went scavenging in the wasteland. They scouted for information. They helped out another family or faction, or they discovered a new danger. Scouting or um, helping out another faction with the uh the ones below makes the most sense for me. That's an easy one. Yep. Yeah. Uh, scouted for, for information mechanically means describe a lead that might give you a new surplus or remove a need and get one data. Do you have a, like, a surplus or a need you want taken care of? Right now, the top uh, half of Scouts or recruits are my two current needs. But that's uh, yeah, I actually, I think you, at least for recruits, you've gotten that taken care of. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't think, think you have a surplus of it, but you you do have the need goes Mechanically, away. I don't think either of those make as much sense cuz I don't know how scouting would get me scouts. What was the other one I said? The uh, helping of the family. Yeah, you, it, it just gives you a treaty. That would be mid- good. Yeah. I'll get a treaty. On, what do treaties do again? Yeah, it's that's a mechanic we haven't touched a lot on um there there's a lot of mechanics in this game, so sometimes it's easy to forget some of them. Um when you call in a debt, uh, when you call an obligation, call on an obligation another family has to you, like they have a treaty. You, you, you spend one of your treaty on them and choose one. You get plus two on a move that targets them, take a, take a surplus from them, or get them to back you up, fall into indecision, or protect something important. That might be useful soon. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely think we should play with that a little bit um, in, uh, as we open up the next session because yeah. um, 
uh, the Talpavroi have a whole thing about like they're the ones who alert everyone else about the monsters mm-hmm. and the treaty matters there. So the Talpavroi could really like be like, okay, everyone needs to back us up. We're all going after the mold warps, right? Like that yeah. could be a thing we do, right? So, all right, yeah. So I'm gonna add one on the ones below then. Yep. I and do. then uh, what does uh, what does uh, Mickey get up to during this time? Can you go through the list one more time? Because I'm having a hard time choosing. <laughs> you bet. They found a new place in their family. They went scavenging in the wasteland. They scouted for information. They helped out another family or faction, or they discovered a new danger. I'm guess I'm thinking scavenge, scout, or new danger. Mm-hmm. Uh, scavenging in the wasteland would add one tech to your family stock. That just sounds like a thing that the seekers do all the time. So that makes sense to me. Yeah, right? it's an easy one. Yeah. And then for next time, you could be like, you could uh, tech is always something you can tra- um, bring a character can bring along with them on an adventure. And it counts as a device that you could try to unleash power with. Mm. Um, so it's it, easy to be like, OK, we found this cool new device. Mickey, here you go. And then he gets to use it, use it next time. Right. I think. Yeah, I think that makes the most sense. Mm-hmm. Because I, I feel like. I think Mickey wants to turn the star set seekers like area and base into more and more of a megalopolis. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Build up, build up the the civilization there. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. Go ahead and add one tech to your family stock. There you go. We can go ahead and call it there. One tech. They're out of time anyway. Um, cool stuff. Uh, did I remove a need or g- gain anything? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We that? we should we should evaluate the the factions um, just to make sure that none of that. Uh, yeah, you can get rid of safety. That makes sense. Okay. Right. Um, that's definitely the thing that happened there. Oh, um, that means you're at three. Okay. You have three mood. Um, you don't need prestige. Is definitely something you still need. I'm trying to think of if there's anything. It, it is definitely something to think about, like, in a general sense, to have any of the factions gain something surplus or needs wise. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry. The Star Set Seekers no longer have defenses as a need because you got that bubble up. <laughs> so good job there. So you're in a good bubble place, up. Jordan. Yeah. Uh, Cool. That's gone. So I have no needs. No needs right now. Yep. Uh, you have a surplus of engineering progress and morale. Um, I don't think there's been any other narrative stuff that's happened that would like give the seekers anything else or or like add a need to them. I think they're they've been doing fine. Um, Oh, you know what we should do? We should take away your surplus of engineering. It's not that you don't have it anymore. It's just that you used up a bunch of it um, helping the Talpavaroy. Like that currently yeah. all of your engineering stuff is going towards helping them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Talpavaroy, any, any other modifications you think we should do on that, Seth, on yours? Um, Weaponry, warp metal, prestige, need for scouts. Not That's good. probably the thing that leads to the mold warp, mold warp thing. They're probably closer than you want them to be because you have a need for scouts right now. Yeah, that makes sense. Whatever's my surplus, I mean, not really because I don't think we have a surplus of much. Um, but mm-hmm. I mean, the weaponry, warp metal, and prestige, yeah. But like, I think that's about to become very necessary. Probably won't have as much after this next, yeah. after the next session. Um, but one thing to keep in mind about surpluses is you can always um when your family uses their resources to confront a crisis erase an appropriate surplus and mitigate or resolve the problem so you can if we ever come across something where you're like oh you know what i can just get rid of my surplus and that would probably take care of that then we could usually just do that <laughs> that'll probably happen with the mold warp rush yeah the stampede that's happening or however that oh. works mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah we'll figure out next time um Scouts morale, freshwater crops. Yeah, I think. Oh, you know what? We should we should probably give. I think maybe we give um the clan 
one more surplus, and that is land. Because of your deal oh. with the uh, with the vultures, right? Um, that makes yeah, sense to me, sense. right? The idea being like you have a bunch of more territory now that like it's kind of under a mutual control between the two of you. It's, it's something you could easily lose if the vultures turn against you, but um, mm -hmm. uh, in which case, I think we actually hit a story or a family move here because if your mood would hit plus four, which it would, because you have five surpluses and one need, um, instead you erase a surplus and pick one. Uh, sell off the excess surplus for one tech, gift the excess to your allies and gain advantage with reach until the end of this age, bond with a great celebration, giving you advantage with grasp until the end of this age, finance a network of informants and gain advantage with slight until the end of this age, or invest in better equipment, get a new gear option. What's this is, grasp and slight? I don't so know. So those are the, the stats that the family uses to do stuff. So reach mm. is your like diplomacy, slight is your subterfuge stuff, grasp is your like uh, th force. Mm. So this is actually something uh, you can only pick each option once per age. This is usually a thing that only happens a select few times um, in a particular age. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, you get some tech, you get a new gear option, you could, or you could, yeah, increase your, you get advantage on one of your stats as a family. Get advantage on one of my stats or increase one of my stats? I get, I get advantage, but it's until the end of this age. Um, whenever you use oh, that see. thing until the end of this age, you get it. I feel like we really haven't been using those very much. Um, Not a whole lot. Yeah, there's there's family moves that will engage it, but. Yeah. Um... I'm, car I'm trying to think what we would use tech for. Um, a tech is, as a reminder, as I told Jordan, tech is a device in the character level. So you could always mm -hmm. say like, okay, I'm taking, uh, you know, um, Cinnamon found a device and, you know, got this tech and now maybe the vultures found something and they're lending it to you. And now you got this device that you could use when you're zoomed in on the character level, right? Uh, you can also spend tech to get advantage on a, a, a role and on the family level. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, new gear option is also kind of cool. I don't know what kind of gear we would use. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, so you could get um, the the one option you didn't pick, the category you didn't pick from your stuff here is how do you travel? So it could be like something about your situation right now. You you get some mounts or like the the options it gives here as as the the basic ones for the clan is simpler animals grafted wings or stolen off-road vehicles um i don't know do any of those make sense for i don't know boxes <laughs> I feel stolen like off-road vehicles does kind of sound cool based if you like stole them from the tal Pavaroy. i was gonna say it sounds like drill cars <laughs> that that could be kind of fun <laughs> because boxes you're such a turning against boxes. the humans Boxes going in the drill cars. That's kind of yeah. odd. But uh hmm. I don't know. Um I don't know. I don't know if I have like an idea here, to be That's honest. Right. Um so the, the first thing you have to do no matter what is erase one of your surpluses because you can only ever have three right. mood at the highest. So which one of these are you getting rid of as like a because you know surplus is like you, you have more than enough of this. So the idea here is like you're getting rid of the surplus and getting a different advantage instead, right? Right. I feel like it would be scouts at this point. Um okay. I I don't know, right? Like I feel like that kind of could be. Yeah, you, all your scouts are being, you know, you're not worried about scouting anymore. I definitely don't want to get rid of fresh water or crops. Yeah, um, that makes sense to me. Yeah, because And then it doesn't think, make sense to get rid of land because we just got that. Yeah. So it's either morale or... I, I like that. I think the scouts. idea being like, um, uh, you're not worried because scouts would be like, for you guys, most of the time is like hunting for food, hunting out in the wasteland. And for you, it's like, okay, we're, we're focusing inward now, right? Like we're not looking out at all we're, we're gonna be here <laughs> protecting our homes right mm -hmm. uh in which case then maybe the best option would be like um uh bond with a great celebration 
giving you advantage with grasp until the end of this age. Grasp mm-hmm. is the force one. It's also your weakest stat as a family. Right. So, but do I want advantage on grasp though? Like, it narratively makes I... sense, is what I'm saying. Right. Bond with a great celebration with the vultures. Um, focusing inward. Yeah, the other one that makes sense to me, you could sell off the excess surplus for one tech. Um, you know, so it could be the one last device that the scouts found before they were decommissioned. I think that kind of makes sense. I, I, I think yeah. I think because then that would still give us advantage on a family move, which probably is more helpful. Yeah, yeah. You can just and it, use I think it's still I think it makes sense narratively since we just got yeah. new lands, right? That we would have found something in there. That makes total sense to me. Yep. So yeah, let's just do one tech. That that's easiest. Sweet. I think we're good then. There you go. That's been Game Bound Legacy. Thanks for playing, guys. Um, next time Emily's not free, we'll probably play this again um, and fight some old warps. But until then, I'm excited for Terra Invicta next week. It'll be great. We are playing next week. That's the plan. I, I, that's what Yay! I heard. I got a lot of prep to do before that. <laughs> we'll see how much I get it done. Pirate time. Mm-hmm. Pirate time will be fun. All right, Finn, you want to say bye? Oh, bye. bye, Finn. <laughs> All right, we're out. Adios. Mm-hmm.